Okay, last time we were able to fix a failing test. And, whoa, uh, what's on check dependencies? Oh, mixed steps. Get. I just changed branches, so maybe I have to do this again. We fix the failing test. We limited the UI to just show the root level entities, and then we added some UI to allow parenting. And today, our goal is to do some unparenting, but I would also like to see the nodes that have been parented in the UI. So I'm going to drop this down. So what I think this will take is we need a way to query the top level nodes and any expanded nodes. So it's a tree with children in it, and but we don't see the children of children. We don't see any grandchildren until we expand the symbol. And we can do this by maybe clicking on a plus symbol. So we need that ability to query it. And then when we query it, it's going to be efficient. One single query, but we have to nest it into a um, nested struct for the UI to be able to render the nested DOM elements. So then we need to take a flat list, convert that into a uh, nested struct. And then hopefully our UI can, right, so let's just start with that. We might not get to the UI part. So this can be uh, 2021, today is Halloween. And this is mostly backend stuff. So next time we'll probably do the more of the UI stuff. Uh, UI present um, nodes that can be expanded. Let's create a branch for 005. And I don't want to do it inside the um, VS Code container because it fights for the rights. I'll just do it out here. So git checkout branch. Let's do v. Let's just call them all v. v0.0.5 is the branch. Save this file, we can get started. Status. Okay. So the queries happen at let's see. Inside the uh, spaces file module. So we have the ability to get space, get space with top level entities, get space top level entities. So this only returns, so this returns top level entities for a space without returning the space. Okay. So what we would like is get top get a spaces top level entities and any expanded nodes I can improve upon the name later but we'll have the space ID and then we'll have a list of list of expanded 
uh, entity IDs. Um, so this is about about querying uh, entity tree for editing. So maybe we just call entity tree. So you have the space ID and the list of expanded entity IDs. All right. If this is empty, then just return the top level. So we just entity tree base ID, and if this is empty, then it's just get base top level entities with the space ID. Let's just the club. Okay, I gotta change the order of these things. So if we get um, a list of nodes, then we want to query from E in spaces. Did we pull an entity? We did pull an entity, so we can just say entity now. Where, yeah, where is nil the parent, which means it has no parent, or um. The parent ID is in a list of expanded IDs. And of course, the space ID is equal to the space ID. If all these are true, then give me a all on the query to a query. So let's give this a try. IX dash X mix. And I think we only have one space ID, so let's just grab that space ID, which is repo um all space. Here's the space ID. We'll assign that to space ID. And we'll do spaces dot entity tree with the space ID and nothing. Gives us back just the top level, which I think is this thing even though uh, what's the full tree <clears throat> uh, space full entity or I think we have something for this right we just uh, get a space with top level entities get space with top level entities get space with Um, uh, 
list entities. Okay, I don't think we have one for getting all the entities of the space. Just called full tree. Give me the space ID, and in here we'll just do from q equals from e in entity where e space ID equal to space ID. In here, <clears throat> where colon. so space is full tree space ID this gives back quite a few entities pipe this to blank, I think. Seven. Seven entities. Even though our... This just gives the top level entity. <clears throat> so now we want to test if you can expand this. So if we expand this one, so this is the top level entity, we want to expand this. So now we provide this. What do we get now? Now we have three children. So we have parent ID is four five something here, parent ID four five something here, and parent ID is nothing. And our query was give us children of Okay, four or five. And which one of these has more children? So this one has a child count of two. We have one and two. And this one has a child count of four. So we can further expand this one by providing this. So we should add four more to our count here. This length is what? Three. So if we add this we should add four plus three we should get seven which it does so it's just giving us the expanded tree here very cool so I think we have done ability to query top level nodes and any expanded nodes um, we're not clicking on anything but we're providing a, a list here so now we also want um, we want to put it in a nested structure because what we have right now isn't nested. So we want to take a flat list and produce a nested struct. So in order to do this, um, let's write some functions that can take this thing. So this is actually entity tree flat entity tree flat what we want is entity tree nested so again we get the space ID we get the list of expanded entity IDs and underneath the hood, we'll say the flat list is equal to entity tree flat 
given the space ID and your list of expanded EDs. And then we want to iterate them and produce a map. So maybe we want to enum reduce over them. So the enumerable is the flat list. Flat list. And then what do we do? Now we have a function. And the function has a element, which is the entity, and it has the accumulator. And in here, we want to return the new accumulator. Don't I need also a initial value? I need an initial value here, which is the map, I think. So I'm going to take a flat list. I'm going to enumerate over every element of the flat list. Call this function with an initial value that is an accumulator. It's an empty map. And for every parent, I want to see, does the accumulator have a key that is the parent? So I want to produce a, a list like this. Uh, create a dictionary of parent IDs to their children. Um, so in the beginning we'll have, let's say, the top level node. So for every node, we're going to check to see if it has a parent ID which everyone does as a parent ID. So entity.parentID needs to be the key. So we'll say map has key. And the map is the accumulator. And the key is entity parent ID. So if this is true, then we want to add to it. Then the new value there is going to be um, old list, which is map or accumulator entity parent ID. We know that's that that that's there. That's the old list, and the new list. Actually, we can just do this. It's going to be entity on top of this. So we've appended it to the list. And we want to put that back into the map. So we say, uh, let's see, map.merge with accumulator and this map, which is the parent ID and then parent ID which is entity parent ID which can be it can be nil uh, close this off so this becomes the new accumulator if it doesn't have it then we simply return map.merge the parent didn't exist which means we're the first one to add it in there accumulator and we're going to give it um, entity dot parent equal to a list of one which is the entity and I think that's it so this should give us a list. So if this is the last thing that's called, uh, hold on, hold on.
Okay, so, okay. We're doing this once for every list. So there's no recursion here. This just creates a map. Let's see what this gives us. So let's save this out. What's happening here? Has no local return. Um, value. Okay, so this is the parent map. Let's return the parent map. What's going on? If else map merge. Flat list returns this parent map map reduce. This function call will not succeed, it breaks the contract. Does the accumulator come first? Is it this one? Look at some documentation. Reduce enum numerable accumulator function. Yeah, numerable accumulator function. accumulator function and is it the accumulator first and then the entity nope function accumulator second accumulator second say entity tree nested I should just get the map of parents uh, let me make some space okay so select blah 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 blah, blah where this or Parent is any of these. And what do we have here? We say children, children is not loaded. So nil. These are the top levels, which is just one. And then this one has. Uh, So this has just one, two, three, four children. This has one, two children. Okay, so now we have this map. But it's not exactly in the format that we want. Now we need to uh, we want to start with the root, which is nil. Put this into the results and then iterate over this and for everyone that has a child count greater than two or that has an entry into the parent map take that level and then put it into its children so we're going to take the map and then we're going to call some kind of recursive function, which is now uh, nest entities 
pass in the map. Let's pass in the starting node, which will be nil. And we'll pass in the parent map to start with. Our nest entities. So we'll take the node, the parent map. And so if <clears throat> node, how about if map has key in the parent map and the node and actually it's a node ID So does so in the first case when you pass a nil, let's check to see if nil is a is in that map. And if it is, then to put something in something. We don't have any accumulator. We need an accumulator here. So I would say we need an additional thing, which is maybe uh, some kind of list. So results. So if you have an entry in there, all right. If you don't have an entry in there. Just return the results that you have. In which case, it would be an empty list for nil if it didn't have a map. You have nothing. If you do have an entry, then call nest entities again. For One. Let me think about this. I guess, um, hold on. If it has a key, then you have children. So children is the parent map at the node ID. Your results would be expanding a map, would be mapping over them. Coming in here with nil, you go, do you have an entry here? If you do have an entry, then return the children. 
Um, so I'm going to show the PR that I made, which includes uh, we took a flat list and we created a parent map. Then we uh, converted the parent map into a recursive data structure for UI. Then we created a content tag function to render UI. Um, this uh, parent map conversion happens in the show. Uh, no, no, it happens inside the spaces module create parent map. So we just moved it here. This just takes the flat list and then it reduces it into a map where every key is a parent and the children are a list of entities. So the way it does this is for every entity, it takes the accumulator. And if the map, uh, if the accumulator already has a key for that parent, then th this key exists, then it will uh, modify that key by adding the entity onto the list of children that are already there. If the key doesn't exist, then it will create the key and start the list with a new entity. So that's pretty straightforward. Then we need to nest the entities. <clears throat> so this entity tree nested takes the flat nest, calculates the parent map, and then calls nest entities with the first tier of siblings, the siblings all, uh, at the top level don't have a parent. It passes in the parent map so we can look up ch children. And that's passed into nest entities. And this will do a map over all of the top level children. And this ending condition here prevents us from crashing if you are handed a, a empty scene. So this would be nothing and create parent map would be uh, an empty list so that this would be nil. So if that happens, just return uh, an empty list. So we go over the top level children. If the map, the parent map has a key, then we will merge the key of children onto the entity. Remember the entity already has a key of children, but it would say that it's not loaded by Ecto. So this will recursively call into nest entities to expand upon its children and so forth. Um, if it doesn't have the key, then it's just a regular entity with no children, so we return the node. So this builds the recursive data structure. And finally, I created another module called nested UL, which has this function called nested UL, given a list of the entities you want to render and a list of options, it will produce a content tag of a UL and then iterate over every one of the entities and produce an LI tag. The LI tag will create the LI tag whose content is made of LI con content. And LI content checks to see if the entity has children now this key will always be there because entity, the schema has many children, but it may or may not be populated. So if it is populated with some kind of list, 
then expand the node uh, and show children. Otherwise, uh, that children is not expanded, so we don't need to dig down further. We'll just show the entity name. But if the entity child count shows that it could be expanded, the child count is greater than zero, then show a um, minimize node. Do I have this backward? Minimize node. Um, so the children count is greater. I think I have this backward. Minimize node. Oh, oh, minimized node. Okay, so that means it's already ex it's already expanded. Oh, oh, sorry, it's minimized, which means it's not expanded. Oh, that's a bit confusing of naming. Okay, I should just call it unexpanded node. It's not necessarily minimized. It's just unexpanded node. So this is an unexpanded node. So an unexpanded node has a plus button, which you can click, which will send a message to Phoenix Live View to expand the entity. And that will put it on a list, which will render more stuff. So with all this, I can do ix-x mix Phoenix server. And let's go take a look at this. So we have a space here. We can show and I can expand this. Here's a sphere and a box. This box has more things in it. I can span the box. box has more things. I can expand this as a sphere and I can collapse. I can collapse these layers back down and create another one which is a let's say another cone and put in a box so these two I can put the box inside the cone so the box goes inside the cone parent that and there's that box the only thing I can't do right now is unparent because the parent so if I want to unparent this I can delete it but I can't unparent it because in order to unparent it um, I have to, I should, I, well, I mean, I could call unparent, but I only want to show the unparent button if it actually has a parent. So if I select this one, I shouldn't be able to unparent anything. That wouldn't make sense. Also, selecting this within that, that might be an issue. I'm not sure. This might create a weird circular reference. So probably don't want to allow that. Anyway, um, let's commit this part and call it a day.